backwalling is a through and through process. It happens when you have hit the target but have gone through it completely. Backwalling is easy to do when you enter the needle too close to the probe and when the needle tip is inserted far beyond the ultrasound beam. In the ultrasound image, you might think you are looking at the needle tip, however, you are actually seeing the shaft of the needle. To fix this, you want to pull the needle back to where it is out of view and then realign the needle tip with the ultrasound beam. Now we are looking at the needle tip. This is where the peak and slide technique comes from. Looking from this view, you can see that the needle is shown in the ultrasound image. However, when you take a closer look, you can see that the needle tip is actually far beyond the ultrasound beam. And in the ultrasound image, you are actually looking at the shaft of the needle rather than the needle tip. When you look from a head-on view, you can see the complications that can arise when you are not looking at the needle tip. Here, the needle is actually sticking the carotid artery, even though the needle doesn't seem to be there. Knowing this, carotid artery puncture incidences are reduced when you are using continuous ultrasound guidance with the caveat that you are looking at the needle tip rather than the needle shaft. The single most important thing to learn when using an ultrasound with a needle is to appreciate the difference between the needle tip and the needle shaft. To review, if you do not see the tip of the needle, you will need to withdraw the needle tip back until you lose the needle and then put the needle tip back in view. You can tell that you are looking at the needle's tip because it will look as though it is blinking in the ultrasound image. This blinking is caused when you move the needle tip in and out of the ultrasound beam or if you rock the ultrasound probe forward and backwards. If you do not see the tip of the needle, you will need to withdraw the needle tip back until you lose the needle and then put the needle tip back in view. You can tell that you are looking at the needle's tip because it will look as though it is blinking in the ultrasound image. This blinking is caused when you move the needle tip in and out of the ultrasound beam or if you rock the ultrasound probe forward and backwards.